Let's see how it does with this dirt. I definitely think I just ruined this floor. This is a review of the Green Note Cordless Vacuum Cleaner GSC50. Now, why am I reviewing this? Because I told them that I would, and I'm a man of my word. First, let's talk about the price. Now, this is regularly $130. At the time of writing this, it's on sale for $110. So hit the link below to check that out or to purchase one. Let's look at some of the specs. Now, this is a lightweight stick vacuum cleaner. It's got a self-standing design so you can stand it up wherever you want to. And they say you can use it for your hard floors, tile floor, wooden floor, carpet, and for your rugs. It's got a flexible 180 degree swivel sideways and 90 degree up and down. So you can basically get in any corner you need to. It weighs less than two pounds. Let's see what is in the box. So we've got the main head unit. We've got the vacuum sweeper unit. We've got a crevice tool, we've got adjustable telescopic pole here, we've got an upholstery tool, an extra HEPA filter, an AC adapter, and instruction manual. Now let's look at how to use it. Now there's actually a bunch of different ways you can use this thing. The general vacuum mode looks like this. You can extend this from 27 inches to 35 inches. But then you can also take the head unit completely off and connect a couple different attachments to it. So first there's the crevice tool, which is great for cleaning out your car and dealing with stuff like this. You can also attach the upholstery tool directly to the head like this, and then you can go and use it like this. Great for your couches or chairs. Now, when it's full of junk, you just press this one button and it all falls out. That makes it super easy to clean out. Here's the HEPA filter. It's got a cyclone and five stages HEPA filtration system in the head unit. And they say that it can capture 99.99% .99 of fine dust down to as small as 0.1 microns. And then it will still expel purified clean air. And the filter comes out and goes in really easily. So let's take this off and take a look at the next thing that you can do with it. Attach the extension pole and add the crevice tool. And this is great for reaching stuff like this. And you can also put the upholstery tool on the extender as well. And finally, you can put the actual vacuum unit on the extender. Let's take a look at the sweeper. So it's got three LED lights, 200 watt brushless motor, 23,000 Pascal powerful suction when you're running it on the max mode, and it runs for up to 35 minutes. We've got some soft bumpers on here so you won't bang up the walls. And on the beater bar, there's two different kinds of brushes. There's a softer brush and a harder brush. And you can also put it like this. And like we saw earlier, it does come with a cleaning tool to help you get hair and stuff off of the beater bar when it gets gunked up. The beater bar actually comes out really easily. You just press this and pop it out. Then you'll clean it with the tool and then pop it back in. Now let's disconnect the extender, grab the other camera, and use it like this, the head unit directly connected to the sweeper. Now it looks like a little boot and you can use it to clean the stairs. It's really easy to use and it seems to do a good job. Now let's add the extender back on again, put the head unit back on, and here we go. Hey, you really can stand this thing up wherever you want to. Let's grab some dirt and throw a bunch of it on the floor. And let's see if the green note can sweep this up.
it's actually doing a pretty good job at collecting this huge pile of dirt. I am a little concerned about this giant mess that's still left over. I think I might have just totally ruined this carpet. But man, you really, really can stand this thing up just about anywhere. I'll tell you what. Hey, here's something. Can you just use the head unit by itself? I don't know. Let's find out. Yes, you can, but you probably wouldn't really ever want to. It didn't really work that well. It's probably not designed to do that, but now we know. I'm breaking out the big guns now on this floor, the Kirby. Let's see if it can clean up this mess. I hope it does. And astonishingly, yes, the Kirby has seemed to finish the job. I mean, you can't really tell at all that there was a huge pile of dirt there anymore, right? And the green note here is great for getting these little crevices that the Kirby cannot get into. Now, let's see how this thing handles just a regular job, cleaning off this mat. Now, stuff usually sticks really well to these mats, so I am impressed that the green note is able to pick all this stuff up pretty easily. But can it pick up a leaf? Yes, yes it can pick up a leaf. So that's also pretty cool, picking up leaves. And when you need to charge it, just pull up anywhere, plug it into an AC outlet, and there you go. It's nice that there's no weird charging dock that you have to deal with here. It's cool to just be able to plug it in anywhere you want to, and you can even take the head unit off and charge it just by itself if you need to fit it into a smaller area for charging. Now what is the bottom line here? I think that this is a pretty cool little vacuum. It seems super powerful, very, very lightweight. It seems to have good suction power, and after sucking in all that dirt, none of the dirt came out of the canister at all or made it into the motor, which is also very cool. Seems like that HEPA filter is working. Hit the link in the description below to check this out, and I will see you in the next video.